We are now working on the Check Your Understanding on page 498. The first set of directions say this, write each of the following quadratic expressions in equivalent factored or expanded form. So when we look at A, we start out with factored form and we're going to change this to expanded form. So 9x multiplied by 4x and then 9x is being multiplied by the negative 5. 9x times 4x gives us 36x, and 9x times a negative 5 gives us negative 45x. So we're left with 36x minus 45x, and that's expanded form. We changed it from factored to expanded form. In B, we start out with expanded form, and we need to change it to factored form. So I'm going to start by writing out the prime factorization of 9x squared. And then I'm going to write out the prime factorization of 72x. So we multiply 9 times x times 8. And then we can break up 9 into 3 times 3 and 8 into 2 times 2 times 2. And the factors that they have in common are 2 3s and an x. So 2 3s and an x. So we pull out 9x. And then in parentheses, we have an x left over here. And 9x times x equals 9x squared. Over here we have an 8 left over, a positive 8, and then let's check our work. 9x multiplied by x will give us 9x squared. 9x multiplied by 8 will give us 72x. So we wrote this in factored form. We changed it from expanded to factored form. All right, so let's go ahead and expand this problem. We multiply 3 times x squared, and we get 3x squared. We multiply 3 times 5x, and we get 15x, and then we subtract 7x. We can combine the 15x and the 7x. three x squared plus eight x is what we're left with. If you want to make this so that it's in factored form, you can pull out an x from each. x times three x gives you three x squared. x multiplied by eight gives you eight x. So you could write it this way, factored form, or this way, expanded form. All right, letter D, x plus three multiplied by x plus seven. So this is one of those special cases where we could write out x squared plus a plus b times x plus, and then we have a multiplied by b. So let's try it that way first. We have x squared plus, and then a is 3, b is 7. So 3 multiplied by 7, and then we write down x. And then we multiply 3 times 7. So we get 21 here. And then, oh, this shouldn't be multiplication. It should be addition, sorry. 3 plus 7, we get 10x. And then we add that to the x squared. And then if you want to do it the way we normally do, it would be first outer inner and then last which would be x squared plus 10x plus 21, and you get the same thing either way. This is considered expanded form. Okay, now let's write out the pattern, and then we'll try to follow the pattern. So the pattern should be x squared plus 2 multiplied by a x plus, and then it should be a squared. So now we're going to go ahead and fill this in. We write out x squared. a is 2. So we take 2 and then we multiply it by a, which is 2. And then we write our x value again. And then we add a squared. And a is 2, so we square the 2. So it's x squared plus 4x plus 4. If we do it the way that we would have done before, we would just write out x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2, and it would be first outer inner 
and the last, which would give us x squared plus 4x plus 4, which is exactly the same as we got using the pattern. All right, after that, we have letter F, x plus 6 multiplied by x minus 6. And the pattern is x squared minus 36 in this case because this is the same as this. This number is the same as this number. And then we have a positive symbol here and a negative symbol here. So it should be x squared minus 36. And our pattern was x squared minus a squared. If you want to do the whole problem, first, outer, inner, last. 6x and negative 6x cancel each other out, and we're left with 6 or x squared minus 36, which is the same as what we got using the pattern. Now we have a new set of directions, and the directions say, in parts G and H, find values for the missing numbers that will make the given expressions equivalent. So we'll look at G first. And if we think about it, we want to think about the pattern that it follows. So we know that in here, we had to multiply to get to that, or add to get to that 12. So the pattern I'm thinking of is x squared plus a plus b multiplied by x plus, and then it's a multiplied by b. So for this part, we have to add to get what is here. And you have to add a plus b. So we know that this is a, and we know that this right here is b. And then we know that for this section, we multiply the two, a multiplied by b. So we need to ask ourselves, 4 plus what number is going to give us 12? So 4 plus what number will give us 12? And that would be b, will be whatever that number is. We can subtract 4 from each side, and we get b equals 8. So 8 goes here, which means that at the end, we have a 32. When you finish a problem like this, you can just go back through and you can check. And you can multiply first, outer, inner, and then last. And you'll see that the 8x plus 4x will give you the 12x, the x squared is the same, and then the 32 is also the same. Now let's look at h. And again, we have the same type of problem. And remember, the form is x squared plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a times b. Right. In this case, we have the multiplication portion. So it's 4 multiplied by some number should give us negative 8. So that's going to be a negative 2. And then we know that for this section, it's a plus b. So we can take the negative 2, and we can add to that the positive 4. So a, 4, plus b, negative 2, and we get a positive 2. At the end, check your work. First, outer, inner, last. 4x minus 2x gives us 2x, which is the same as what is written here. So we know that we did it correctly, and that's the last part of the check your understanding.